after recent success with the uh, testbed platform and uh, hacked Hobby King speed controllers, uh, I want to see how they'll do for a 60 pounder for the, the drivetrain of uh, the Boner or the Coroner or Little Kahuna or Dale the Lightweight, whatever we're calling it. Uh, however, I would also like to investigate uh, the brushless motors in the same application. Uh, and in fact, the where are they? there they are the Bainbots P60 540 mount mounts for the uh, the gear motors finally came in so I hope to get those brushless motors mounted up to the P60s and uh, hopefully that'll get well, we'll see how that goes uh, hopefully the Castle Creations Mama Monsters will reverse and we'll see but uh very excited to have parts in hand. Coffee. So here's the Bainbot P60 uh, 64 to 1, made it to a random uh, 750 size. Uh, this was actually a DeWalt motor, I think. Uh, it fits and runs fine. Uh, here's the Track Star Track Star motor from Hobby King. It's a uh, six, uh, 40, 40, 68, six poles, uh, 2560 KV. Uh, here's the, uh, mounting plate. You can see it's got, uh, a few provisions for spacing and, and thread size. Uh, so if I just drop that right on top. You see those holes line up perfectly. So now it should be a, a bolt and go replacement. Um, even though the shaft has a D, a flatted flat spot, the uh, provided Bainbot's pinion uh, still seems to press on, seems to be a, a fine interference fit. See if that holds up. So, here we have the boner. Um, and here we have this bed robot. Uh, so uh, I found an excellent way to simulate a two-wheel drive robot of this style is to just use uh, two pieces of lumber, like a 2x4 that goes like, uh, simulates that thing and then a cross that simulates the wheels. And uh, I'm sure that'll make more sense uh, later when I have some lumber to compare it to. But uh, you can see that the axle is pretty pretty close to the actual uh, coroner's axle so the uh, the test beds will be just a little bit more narrow but I think that's fine and uh, we have uh, four wheels uh, we're only trying to simulate a two-wheel robot so I think the plan right now is to build two test beds one brushed the other one brushless so uh, now to go take some measurements and then go raid the lumber pile and see if I can find some 2x4s. I'm ready for the zombie apocalypse. Or the vampire apocalypse. One of those. But anyway, yeah, grab this. See if we plop that. Plop that right there. You can see. It's uh, pretty roughly the right dimension. Next, wheels. Take those, put them on there. Test bed robot has been all taken apart. Here are all pieces. Uh, so, the plan is to mount these axles in the middle thing. Uh, I tried to look for some uh, appropriate size pipe clamps. Of course, we don't have any. So, I found these clips in abundance. They're for uh, EMT, but even if they're tightened down, the axle will still be able to rotate, which is not the end of the world, but not great. So I found this bicycle inner tube. Just going to put a layer of that around. Layer that around. And these clamps should grab that quite nicely and act as a little bit of shock absorber for the uh, drive axle even. So. Whip that up and then pick up the camera again. Split collar, Colson, custom hub, A plate sprocket, 
uh, with the uh, bronze oil light bushing. Another split sprocket, you can see the axle. There's my uh, impromptu shock mount. And then a repeat on the other side. Okay, so now I have a pair of dueling crosses. I suppose more lube is better than less lube. And alrighty then, one completed Banebots P60 Trackstar motor. Right on. Does the 6S beepy thing. Plays the music. And we're ready to go. So, two, one, no problem. And at full clip. So this setup works, oops, seems to work fine. The speed control doesn't seem to get too, too hot under the collar, but the motor on the other hand gets rocket hot real quick, and so does the gearbox. I figure there is a lot of loss on this end. So it could be that this setup is not going to work, but we'll keep trying. Also, have to reprogram the uh, uh, dialing the speed controller, take out the reverse lockout because right now, if I'm going uh, forward, it won't switch to reverse without. Let's see, it just stops. It won't. Uh... It has to go to full braking first, and then it'll do reverse. So there's forward, full brake, then it'll go to reverse. But I can go from reverse to forward, no problem. And I have done it a couple times, going from like full power reverse all the way to full power forward, and it seems to do it without a hiccup. So I, I think it should do it just fine on the robot as well. Oh, getting closer. All right, so here's what we got. got uh, brushless motor mounted to the P60, nice outboard bearing block, chain reduction, same on the other side, Mamba Monster ESC, Zippy 6S, looks kind of like a pure dead brilliant, a little bit, so I would say as is it probably weighs something like 15 or 20 pounds, as is. plays the pretty music and we're ready to go. There's full clip and there's reverse. I'm driving now. Espresso chocolate beans with coffee chaser. <laughs> 